Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. We're going to be starting out a quick revision of the entire uh, uh, sections of current issues, highlighting which part is important when you when you are preparing and revising for the exam. So book number six from the FRM level two current issues. Okay, now I'm directly going towards the first chapter now, which is the machine learning and section. I'll just quickly move towards that. Chapter number 18, nine from the 2023 book. And over here, the focus is on uh, if you look at this chapter, uh, the basic reference of regression and the types of regression, this you should definitely remember. So I'm marking this as start. Within principal component analysis, these two points you should remember. That is also important. Classification aspect SVM, what exactly it is, you should remember that concept. And under unsupervised learning, you can focus on the first two paragraphs. And out of this, the K-mean clustering is important. Then we can move towards the application past. I'm only highlighting the important concepts which I feel can get tested in the exam, the application of machine learning and AI. In this, the entire credit risk is important. Okay, so whatever is the content, please make sure that you're good, good with it. Then when we go towards the market risk uh, reference, uh, the idea over here is that you can read this paragraph. Okay, marking this as start. Then within operational risk, this section, within rec tech regulatory compliance, this rec tech is important, marking this a star. With respect to benefit of machine learning is okay. The challenges, the entire challenges part is important. Most likely that they will test you on challenges from this chapter. Let us move towards the second chapter, I hope. Everybody is able to see the screen properly. So artificial intelligence, risk and governance, slightly bigger, bigger chapter. In this, there is AML attack section, which is again very important from this exam perspective. Full entire part till model extraction, important. Then this biasness section is also important. AI governance piece, uh, we can directly move towards the inventory, read this part, framework aspect, read the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Yes, third party risk management is also important, market as star. And read this th three line of defense properly. Going towards the second module of this chapter, discrimination in AI. In this case, uh, disparate treatment and impact as a concept is important. Then algorithm doing, algorithm as a cause. Okay, that is also important. Read this part. Incorrect explanations is also important. AI risk mitigation. How do we reduce the risk? Monitoring of drift is very, very important. I'm marking this as star. Addressing discrimination is okay. Other methods of, other methods of risk mitigation, this differential privacy as a concept you should remember. We're gonna be moving towards the third chapter now. This is the chapter where the climate related discussion starts. There are three chapters which have been added in this 2023 exam with respect to climate related reference. So the first two bullet points, definitely make sure that you're good with it. Then physical, within the physical risk drivers, both the acute and the chronic should be clear to you. Within the transition, these two parts are important, marking this as star. Micro and macro channels through which things are going to move. Within the macro part, focus on the credit risk aspect and the examples could be tested. Then liquidity risk, the example of Japan is important. Mark this as star. Under the macro aspect, read the entire credit risk. This is also important. 
factors that impact climate risk related drivers economic and this economic and the market structure you can definitely read for the exam amplifiers yes amplifiers are important the financial amplifier market has start within mitigants uh, this section bank can reduce the risk insurance is okay capital market and securitization definitely should read market with a star so we're done with this chapter also we're going to be moving towards the second part now the next chapter okay but second Yeah, the next chapter is the financial risk measurement and methodology. In this part, we can directly go towards these three different uncertainty, marking this a star. Transition exposure, yes, exposure granularity. Read this entire section properly. Heterogeneity is important. Unique data need section within this. The first point. Then we can move towards the current and developing methodology. The integrated assessment model is also important. We can move further and you can read this paragraph also. And we can move to the third module of this chapter. Exposure mapping. You can read the transition risk paragraph. And this client rating and score paragraph. Within risk quantification. So okay, almost theoretical references. Few of the key takeaways. This read this 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 properly. Fourth module, gap and our challenges within that. Perspective, these two perspectives are important. Mark as a star. Capturing the economic effect, important. Key takeaways is okay. This point, this point, and this point. Let us move towards the next chapter. Principle is for the effective management and supervision of risk, certain principles. So over here, we can directly go to this fourth principle important. Capital and Liquidity adequacy is also important. The next module, principle seven. Principle eight is important. We can look at principle 11 also. Read this part, 12. Supervisory regulatory part principle 13. You can definitely focus over here. Power of supervisor principle 16. Theory, more or less theory. Yep, we can move towards the next section, the next part. So over here, the inflation, a look under the hood, that idea is also there. And in this chapter, uh, as we move ahead, this summary, you should definitely remember. And this paragraph, I'm marking this a star also. 
the concept of Philip curve read properly. Cyclical factors and structural factor factors. Focus on the structural factors, marking this as star. What is the concept of rational inattention? Should know this. And again, the last paragraph over here. Inflation expectation and monetary policy. Second point. The last point also. Role of monetary policy. These two sections are important. Monetary policy in a low inflation environment. This section. Transition to high inflation regime. This part important. Uh, this second paragraph, degree of commonality and degree of spillover important. Yes, we can move towards the next chapter now. Blockchain revolution decoding digital currency. So again, the idea is very simple. We are going to be focusing on what is uh, very important from this chapter of this section. The native token, the basic references of blockchain, what exactly it is. And the concept of double spending, important. Token, cryptocurrency. You can read this paragraph. Now decentralized, within decentralized finance, this smart contract is very important. From this chapter, the entire section of smart contract. This part is also important. Further, as we move ahead, automated market maker is also important. Stable coin, within stable coin, potential contribution to physical risk. In this, the example of commercial paper is very, very important. Regulatory consideration, this last three, four lines. Central bank digital currency. Over here, the last paragraph, potential application of digital currencies, okay. So we are done with this chapter also. We are going to move towards the next chapter, future monetary system. This is the last chapter of the book. So first points are basically few goals that you are thinking of achieving, that is okay. Benefit of this paragraph, reference of smart contract, do not skip this. This paragraph and this scalability trilemma, very, very important, Star, market is star. And the basic difference between the asset back, stable coin and algorithm big stable coin. How come central banks are, uh, are the best candidate for this? These points are also important. Wholesale digital currency, concept of zero knowledge proof is important. Within the retail section, we can read this paragraph. Global integration is okay. Centralized, decentralized. You can read the second last paragraph over here. Within the regulation approach, cryptocurrency, the KYC reference is important. Then we are almost done with this chapter also. So friends, this was the uh, overall summary of the uh, current issues book with respect to what are the important concepts that can get tested. So these things, when you're revising, make sure that you focus on these paragraphs properly for the exam. Okay. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this session.